Hello friends on YouTube. So, I just came to the movie theater and I have about two hours until the movie starts. I just came here to watch this free guy movie and I'm gonna introduce you five Japanese movies to watch in the summer. Stick around till the end where I will show you the Japanese movie theater and how to buy tickets and everything. Number one is Summer Wars. So this movie is about a 17 years old high school student who happened to spend his summer vacation in, in Inaka and he's gonna have to save the world in a virtual reality. It's like a full of action, animation, and even in a title, Summer Wars. So it's really good to see that movie in summer. And it plays in Japanese television every summer. So yeah, I guess everyone watches it in summer. So it kind of reminds you of like going back to your grandpa's house in summer. And that always have a good vibe to it. And second one, of course, up. This movie probably everyone has watched it before, definitely once if you were Japanese. The second one is My Neighbor Totoro. So this movie is about a family with two daughters who goes to Inaka town because uh, their mother got sick. And the house that they moved to had like a monster and stuff. This movie is about those girls and hang out with that big monster called Totoro. Inaka foresty nature kind of vibe to it. It's really really good to watch in summer. And the animation and the, of course like those Jibri um, soundtrack. I love love Jibri soundtrack. Like whenever I'm like studying I listen to Jibri soundtrack. It's really like calming. And yeah they're, they're brilliant with the music. The third one in the list is Water Boys. Personally speaking, this is one of my all-time favorite movies. Definitely watch it in summer. So this movie is about high school students in a swimming club and they basically had nothing to do. They were uh, not doing much up until the moment when there is cute uh, female teacher came into school and came into swimming club. And what she wanted to do was not swimming, but what she wanted to do was synchronize swimming. So those guys end up um, performing synchronized swimming and all the whole thing is kind of like summer-ish vibe in high school. If you watch this movie, you'll know like how the high school boy's life is like and then those like silly pranks, like you get it. And since I was in the swimming club and then I also did the synchronized swimming, not in like the movie, uh, but somewhat similar kind of that. So this is one of my favorite movies and they also have good musics. Watch this movie, you won't regret it. The fourth one in this ranking is Umi Zaru. No, this one is for romance and action. So this guy was a salesperson in Tokyo, came back to Inaka and so he becomes a Coast Guard diver. This movie is about him going through the diving training and then becoming the Coast Guard and falling in love with this girl he met at, uh, back in the town. It's about life and death and it's like you will cry, you will definitely cry watching this movie. If you're not into one of those, maybe, still, I would, I would still recommend this, recommend watching this movie. So that the, the first one did really really well, so they made three movies after that. If you make sequels, of course the first one is the best one, but uh, I recommend watching like the second one, third one as well. Last but not the least, the fifth one in this ranking is Porco Rosso. So this is a movie about a pilot who was cursed to become a pig and fly around and fights with pirates. And since he flies a red plane, in Japanese it's called Red Pig, but in English it's called Porco Rosso. I think I've watched it like already like six, seven times already. And then since I have watched it in grandma's house, like every time I watch it, like I remember being in grandma's house. Every time I watch it, there's like every single Jibber movie has this kind of feeling but like when you watch it and when you're in like 12 and when you watch it when you're in 15 18 21 27 like the meaning of the movie changes over time and then like how you perceive things in the movie changes over time so this kind of this is kind of movie that you can watch many times over the years and you can still enjoy it and still entertainable so those were my list of five best japanese movie to watch in the summer i hope you enjoyed it know that the vlog format changes every single week but 
I am figuring out how to do this and this is more of an unscripted uh, English speaking vlog. What I'm trying to do is either teach Japanese or teach things about Japan so that you can enjoy. If you're planning to come to Japan, watch my vlog and then use learn Japanese or things about Japan. If you have been to Japan and then now somewhere else, like maybe you have that nostalgic feeling uh, watching my vlog. But um, I hope you tag along and enjoy what I do. So this is the movie theater that I went to. It's called Piccadilly. Most theaters have online ticket sales and I highly recommend booking online. There are also box offices, so you can always ask someone if you get confused. Food and drinks are overpriced as usual. But the caramel popcorn is must have for me. Get your popcorn and drinks of your choice and you are all set. Inside looks just like any other movie theaters. There's a cushion for children as well. Thank you always for watching. Make sure to like and comment so we can talk in the comment section. And I'll see you next week.